In this video, I'll show you how you can transfer your cryptocurrency from Binance over to Coinbase. Now, recently in the UK, a lot of banks have completely stopped accepting withdrawals and deposits from Binance. So I'm going to show you how you can get your coins from Binance over to Coinbase. So we're starting here on Binance and I'll show you everything you need to do. And by the way, this isn't legal advice. More on that in the description below. So when you're on Binance, this works on the app as well. I'm just doing it on the computer for the sake of the video. You want to go to wallets and then go to fiat and spot. So when you go here, you should see your portfolio. So here is my portfolio. Once it loads, you can see I've got individual cryptocurrencies here. I hold four main ones. Basically, these are my four main ones. Now, what you need to do, you need to decide which one you're going to transfer first because you can only transfer coins one at a time and you can only transfer coins which Coinbase accepts. So bear that in mind when you're transferring coins to Coinbase. So first things first, I would check to see if Coinbase accepts the coin. So go to Coinbase and then you can just check to see if they accept it. To check, all you want to do, you want to go to trade and it will take you to this window and you can type in a coin. So I'm going to check, do they, do they have Luna? And you can see it is not tradable here. So I couldn't go and transfer my Luna to Coinbase. But I'm going to transfer Bitcoin instead. And I know for a fact that you can transfer Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do on Binance, I'm going to click on withdraw. I'm withdrawing Bitcoin and I'm withdrawing to a new address. Now the address that I need to enter here will be my, my address from Coinbase. So I'm going to go to Coinbase. I'm going to go to portfolio. I'm going to scroll down until I find Bitcoin. Here it is. Alternatively, you could find it on trade. But anyway, you want to go to portfolio, go to Bitcoin. And here is my wallet. I'm going to click on receive in Coinbase. And it's telling you here, make sure that you're choosing the right crypto because you can only send one crypto to one address. And that must be the right address. You can only send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin address. Click I understand. And it now shows us our address. We can go ahead and click this button here. And that's going to copy to the clipboard. Now we can go back to Binance and simply paste in our address here. It's going to recognize that we're on the Bitcoin network. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw all of my Bitcoin. Now they do include a Bitcoin fee, um, which if you wanted to just double check how much that, that is, just go ahead and open a new tab and just go to prev.com. You can just go ahead and paste that in. So for me, the fee to send all of my coins is $23, which is a bit hefty, but I am literally transferring my whole whole wallet. But anyway, now we've done that and we've figured out the fee, we can just simply click on withdraw. You can see that we are receiving this amount. The network fee is going to be 0.005. We'll withdraw into this wallet. We can now click continue. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to verify that. So we can get a verification code to my phone. So now I've got both of them. We can now click on submit and that should be accepted. You can see that the withdrawal re withdrawal request was submitted and it's just waiting approval. So that's going to take approximately 12 hours here. We can click complete and that's all we have to do on our end. You can see the withdrawal down here and once it goes to one confirmation, it will then be sent over to my coin Coinbase wallet and I should see it inside here. So that's all you need to do. Please do make sure you leave a like if it was helpful and watch this video here if it is interesting to you. Thanks guys. Make sure you subscribe as well.